Hey, it's the guy Queen Sansa right here. I like to welcome you, my people, to my wonderful YouTube channel. I hope you can hear my voice. A substantial amount of gratitude for you being here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. If you are new to the channel, I welcome you. My newbies, tap the notification bell so you can be a part of the notification squad and never miss a video. Help me to continue to bring you the best content on YouTube by sending your donations to me via PayPal. The link is in the description box below. Check out my positive news media source, Block 11 Magazine, by visiting bmagmobile.com. That goddamn smoke detector. Oh my god. Your donation will also help with the daily operation. Please also support me and Priest Clothing Line, Yaora. It's clothing designed to promote positivity. Proceeds of your purchase will go to Atlanta's local charities. Send me a picture of you wearing RTs to Sansaray at gmail.com and I'll give you a shout out in my next video, all right? If you're looking for relationship advice, you can also send me your questions and video topic suggestions there as well. Please follow me on all of my socials. I'll be sure to add all of that information to my comment section below. Speaking of the comment section, say what you want, but don't get your ass timed out. We block trolls up in here. Don't forget to leave the time you saw this video as well as the city and state you live in in the comment section. I need that information. Thank you so much to the people who can follow instructions. Yeah. Shouts out to all the fellas that keep leaving me emails and all kinds of just everything. And here's the interesting part. Even though I'm married, I still want you guys to understand that I'm still there for you to give you advice or anything that you need okay do not hesitate to email me and ask me okay really my husband's pretty cool so you know um as long as you aren't disrespectful or telling me something like can you finger me in my booty hole he and i will definitely look over your emails matter of fact i don't even think he's going to be looking at all of them i only look he only looks at the ones i show him you know I don't really show him too much of anything because, you know, he really doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not looking at this shit, you know? So, I just wanted to say thank you to Kendrick Wright. I want you guys to watch my reaction to this goddamn video he posted. <laughs> he posted it about a week ago. He has about 50 subscribers, and I want you guys to go over to his channel and subscribe. Please do. I want you to check out his video. Whoa, well, what's up? This goes out to Sansa Ray. And I want to say to, to uh, all the people that's watching this and especially to Sansa Ray, I wouldn't mind going on a date with Sansa Ray. I wouldn't mind going on a date with you, Sansa Ray. Because you seem like you a funny person. You uh um, um. Okay, why is he thinking so hard about what to say? I mean, he's like, uh, uh. Did you think about this first, Kendrick? <laughs> did you think about it first? Like, did you think about all of the things you like about me first? I mean, are you are you? I think it's just you like how I look. I, I, honestly, I think that's really it. Let's let's move forward. Um. A nice person it seemed like man I can uh really go on a date with you man and I won't mind going on a date with your son Saray you seem like you cool but at the same time you don't have the same belief as I have so it's like at the same time we we uh unequally yoked but that wouldn't take the fact that I would uh go on a date with you to see how just how you are <laughs> because for one thing you're attractive okay see he admitted it right there i know that was it that was that's all it is right there that's it <laughs> that's all you wanted to to say to me is that you thought i was attractive because personally i don't think it's, it's anything else but but let's continue you seem cool in a way although you uh say you don't believe in marriage and all that kind of stuff, you worldly, but it seemed like you, you can be a cool person. Okay, so hear me out, hear me out. Okay, Kendrick, you gotta catch up on my videos, darling, <laughs> because I'm very much 
in love with someone we have a very 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 loving very caring friendship relationship and marriage soon to be marriage so i already call him my husband and a lot of people are like why you call him your husband it's because he's earned the title already like he's definitely earned the privilege to me to call him that and we're definitely headed down the aisle it's not going to be some type of i'm just telling you guys this and we never going to end up married we're definitely going to be married very very soon all right um as far as me not having like me being equally yoked with another man me and my husband are very very equally yoked with each other we both have very deep spiritually rooted beliefs um he's not christian i'm buddhist he's not buddhist but he's very very spiritual and we share a lot of you know very down to earth things so when when someone says to me worldly i'm wondering do they mean like demonic because i'm not christian you know what i mean anyway come on let's go we're, we're gonna do the rest if you just take the worldliness out of you and, and uh surrender that and, and, and uh take in the gospel man something that you need okay there it goes take the worldliness out of me and put the gospel inside of me now here's the thing that i want christians to understand i really want christians to understand something okay now putting the gospel inside of me is, is it just sounds crazy to me i was a christian for a very very long time i was a minister and i decided i had to make the right choice for myself not to say that people who have chose christianity have made a poor choice but my journey is my journey and i had to choose buddhism because buddhism feels more comfortable to me it's peaceful it's about love it doesn't start wars you know people aren't arguing and debating over it and suicide bombing and killing each other and all types of stuff and to me christianity brings that type of negativity that i really my body had been rejecting for a long time as i focus on my spirituality and meditating and trying to you know keep a positive mindset i actually live a lot happier life and so um it's unfortunate that a man could say to me, hey, I'll date you. But at the same time, he wouldn't be willing to take me as I am. And he's like, I'll still go on a date with you. But see, as we're talking about, hey, uh, I'll go on a date with you, but you should empty out your worldliness and fill it with the gospel. You know, to me, the gospel sounds completely ridiculous after, you know, you've read the origins of where this gospel came from and where Christianity came from and what are the origins of this uh, religion. So to me, um, I would want to dump the Christianity out of you because, you know, once you've done what I've done, studied theology and studied the, the, the origins of most religions, you'll get to see why it was created and, and the calamity that it started. And I just don't want to be a part of something like that. Now, to me, good is good. If you got a good heart, you a good person, regardless to your religion. You know, if you a good person, you will not be judgmental. and You'll just be able to love whoever and the choices that they have made and regards to religion anyway let's go and make uh gospel uh teachings of the word of, of the holy bible you will be you will be even more great the lord will make you even more great in his kingdom working for him so yeah man i would like to go on a day with sunset ray get to know her and everything and kick it with her man because she she's attractive and she she seems funny and all that kind of stuff, man. I do, man. I do would like to uh do that, man. If I had a chance, I would, man. So if you watching this Sunset Ray, um I love your uh personality, man. You funny, man, I mean man, and you attractive. You I wanna say you ugly, anything like that. You got a nice body. Uh, I look, looked at your uh, past uh, photos and stuff, and you you you, uh, you looked it fine on there, man. And I give you double uh, thumbs up for that, man. And yeah, man. Uh, any uh, any man would uh, when turn down a uh, 
woman uh, who's beautiful and uh, got a great body, man, on her, man. That's what men like. I'm attracted to that. I love black women. I love women, period. Especially black women. So you as a black woman, I do love you and I uh, I wish that you would come out of sin, though, man. You will be better if you just come out of sin. You can still be funny but and attractive, but you will be even better if you just come out of sin, man. <laughs> <laughs> just come out of sin man just come out of sin here's the interesting part he's saying that I should come out of sin Kendrick you're saying that I should come out of sin you sin every day you are a sinner okay you are a sinner you can't help it as a Christian you still sin every day you can't tell me you're sitting there following all ten of those commandments every day it's impossible you know, there's no such perfection. And to me, you know, because I've chosen to not be Christian, there is no possible way I can be a sinner because your religion does not apply to me. My religion applies to me. Your religion applies to you. What you believe in affects your life and the things around you. That's why I no longer no longer believe in Christianity, because the beliefs of Christianity started to affect the lives of the people around me and me. So I had to make a better choice. I had to perceive the world in a different way. You know, when you look through the eyes of life, like when you look at life through the eyes of a specific religion or, or, or through the, you know, the filter of a specific religion, you, you see life the way that that religion wants you to see life instead of seeing life the way that everyone else sees it. So even if I sit here and I try to explain to you, you know, Buddhism and and how I see or how I are or how I are, or how I perceive the world, you will never be able to, to understand until you come from behind that veil and open your mind to see the rest of the world. Because Christianity conforms you to one way of thinking, one way of living. There's no such thing as diversity or variety inside of Christianity. It just keeps you in one place. And the world is too big, too round, too full of so much joy and happiness and love for me to just stay in one place and work for quote unquote Jesus. You know, I have a lot of respect for Jesus just because I chose being Buddhist does not mean that somehow I've just lost all respect for Jesus. You know, the the teachings of the Bible, I teach, I read it just like it's I read it just like it's any other book and I take the pieces of it that, you know, I feel like could apply to my life because there's some positivity inside of that Bible that that could take you really, really far. You know, it, it, there's just so much, especially, especially in Proverbs to me, it's so much, you know, meat and potatoes inside of that book of the Bible that teaches you a lot. So, you know ministering was something that I considered doing I did it before and it just isn't my path I do love motivational speaking I do love teaching I do love metaphysics and spirituality but you know me being Christian it just limits my life it limits my love it limits my my view on the world it limits me from reaching out to the people that I want to reach out to so I try not to stick to Christianity now don't get it twisted I respect a Christian as long as a Christian respects me. So with that being said, Sansa Ray, man, this message goes out to you, man. This ain't nothing but love, man. And although I don't like your videos, um, I like that you are funny. That's what I like about you. You you're funny. You know you you know how to be funny and all that kind of stuff, man. So, yeah, man, I had to do this message for you, Sunset Ray. And this is probably the last video I'm gonna do, man, about you, man. But yeah, man. With that being said, man, Shalom. Peace out. Okay.
Shalom, my brother. <laughs> so listen, oh, and another thing. I did say, I said a million times, marriage is not my thing. Marriage is not something I wanted to do. I mean, I had tried to be married. Oh my God, I had been, get, been engaged three times. I had been through so much with men and I was just done completely like with marriages and relationships. And then priest came along and changed my whole heart about that. I mean, he deserved it. He deserves it. He's such a good guy. He just deserves all the love and monogamy I could give him. You know, he, that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you meet a, a person and you do certain things for them. And I really, really love him. I'm really, really in love with him. I'm really, really in love with him. Like, my soul loves this man. And, and he loves me back the same way. And it's amazing. It's like that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett love. You know what I mean? That um, Ozzy Davis and Ruby D kind of love. And whether you're Christian or you're Buddhist or you're Muslim or you're Mormon, you deserve that kind of love, period. And I just want people out there to understand, you know, it took me a while to find this man. Let me tell you, I've been on YouTube for eight years and I've been talking about my relationships with men this whole time. And I'm telling you, I have never met a man like this one. This man is made for me. You know, he was designed for me. He was brought to me for a special purpose. And I'm so blessed to have him. I'm so blessed to have him. And Kendrick, thank you so much for all of the compliments. I really appreciate that. You said you don't like my videos. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. But, you know, God bless you. I hope you get a plethora of blessings. I, I really do. And I like all God-fearing men. Men who fear God or men who, you know, have a spiritual uh, relationship or, or some type of relationship with God. I admire that. You know what I mean? Um, but as for me being worldly, if that means I'm connected with my planet and I'm connected to the universe and, and I believe in, you know, being kind to animals and to other people and to just... Being outside, smelling that fresh ass prana and sitting there feeling the wind with the trees and just letting the sun just beam on me. And I like hiking and being outside. I like to sit in front of water and just listen to the water like at the lake pass by. I mean, I'm just very worldly if that's what you mean, because I'm really in tune with, with the earth. And um, I, I feel Mother Nature. I feel like I am Mother Nature, you know? So if, if that's what you mean, I'll choose that over being Christian any day. And I just want everybody who is Christian and has looked at me decide to be Buddhist. I want people to just be happy for me. Just be happy that I feel so much love and so much, you know, positivity and so much just flowing energy flowing and I just feel good about my life and I just want anybody who is Christian to feel happy for me as well okay that's it that's all I have to say all right I appreciate you watching have vision and stay focused namaste